everybody. Welcome here to Fansler Field. And we are going to get our starting lineups. Let's go ahead and put it on the PA announcer, Chris, and we'll come back and give you all the details here. Next up in the circle, Lumen. Behind the plate, Raider. First base, Barnes. Third base tonight, Preston. Right field, Bunch. Rowing left field, Kyle. The shortstop, Murray. Second baseman, Clifton. Lady Braves are coached by Mr. Dave Duncan. Now the starting lineup for your Lady Seabrooks. Leading off playing right field, Miller. Shortstop, Wilson. Left field, Hunter. In the circle, Grinsberger. Behind the plate, field. Play third base, Harding. Your second baseman, Tyson. First base, Hunshaw. And out in center, Strasser. Gabby Medina's the flat player. Ladies and are coached by Mr. Jim Coleman. Now if you could stand and remove your cap for the playing of the National Anthem. Good evening, everybody, and welcome here to beautiful Fansler Field in tonight's DRC matchup with the visiting Maconaqua Braves and your Rochester Zebras tonight here on RTC TV4. So we've got a couple of games coming your way tonight. We will have the baseball game on uh, the web only, and joining us here in a few will be the uh, TV on Channel 4 here for the Zebras and the Maconaqua Braves. Rochester coming in off of a big win last night here at Fansler against Wabash. They won that one 9-0. That was supposed to be played Monday, but Mother Nature had other plans, so we didn't get a, a chance to broadcast last night as we were over at the uh, football field and track doing the uh, track meet with the Zebras the Vikings and the Triton Trojans. So McConaughey will be up to bat first. They will be, it will be center fielder Sheila Sheila Brazil, followed by the pitcher Blakely Booman and the catcher Amaya Raider. Will be your first three batters. Batting number four will be first baseman Sidney Barnes. Batting number five will be third baseman Bailey Carson. Batting number six will be right fielder Caitlin Bunch. Batting number seven will be left fielder Ireland Kyle. Batting number eight will be the shortstop Casey Murray. And rounding out the starting lineup will be the second baseman Anna Clifton for the Braves. Defensively, pitching for Rochester is going to be Bria Rensberger. Behind the plate will be Jaden Field. At first base will be Howdeshell. 
At second base will be Miley Heinzman. At third base will be Medina. In the outfield, it will be Hunter in left. It will be Field in center. And it will be Aubrey Miller out in right field. One ball, one strike here. Leadoff batter, Shayla Brazil for the Braves. Swing and a miss there. Nice pitch from Rensberger. Strike two. On deck is the pitcher, Blakely Booman. We saw Blakely here two years ago as a freshman. So she's uh, now a junior here for the Braves. First year head coach Dave Duncan. Of course, you know that name, a familiar name in TRC. His daughter Lauren just graduated last year from North Miami. And he took over the coaching reins here at McConaughey. Keep working, Keep working. Brazil, two balls, two strikes here. Just getting underway here from Fansler Field. That one's going to be over the head of Rensberger. Play made in time. Good job there at second base. Miley Heinzman with the play and one out here to start the first inning. So Brazil grounds out to second, bringing up Blakely Booman with Raider on deck. That one in there for a strike. One ball, one strike here to Booman. Beautiful night for softball here. We're going to keep a, an eye on the baseball game for you as well. That's a 5.30 start as well. That one's going to be down in the dirt. Two balls and one strike. Got Val over there with Caleb and Cade running the production for him over at uh, the baseball field. Gets the call there on that one in the bottom half of the bracket. Two balls, two strikes now to Booman. That one is going to be out of play. Foul territory. So the count will remain two and two here for Blakely Booman. Strike three, good pitch there from Rensberger. Gets the strikeout on Booman. Out number two will bring up Amaya Raider, the catcher with the first baseman, Sidney Barnes, on deck. First pitch misses there for Rensberger. One ball and no strike here for Amaya Raider. Nice one there. That had a little tail in motion. Looked like a, a little bit of a slider away. One ball, one strike. Rensberger has been uh, dealing them up in the circle here this year. Just a freshman, and there goes the camera. Uh, there goes the headset. Now Chris will get that camera here for us. That one misses high, ball two. Two 
Two balls and two strikes. Going over to make the catch is Wilson for out number three. So one, two, three here. No runs, no hits, no errors in the top of the first for the Maconaqua Braves. We'll take a break and come back here in just a moment. RTC TV4. Welcome back here as we move into the bottom of the first here at Fansler Field. Sorry, I hit the button too many times here. We're... We're not skipping ahead. It's the bottom of the first. For the Rochester Zebras, leading off will be right fielder Aubrey Miller, followed by shortstop Aubrey Wilson. Left fielder Braylon Hunter, pitcher Bria Rensberger will clean it up. The catcher will be Jaden Field. The DP will be Micaiah Harding. Second base, Miley Heinzman, followed by first baseman Mia Hadeshell. Center fielder, Dara Strasser, and third baseman, Gabby Medina. She will be flexed tonight. So for the Maconaqua Braves, we talked about uh, Blakely Booman in the circle. Amaya Raider is going to be behind the plate catching. Sydney Barnes will be at first base. Anna Clifton will be at second base. The shortstop will be Casey Murray. Third baseman will be Bailey Carson. Out in left field will be Ireland Kyle, the center fielder, will be Sheila Brazil, and the right fielder will be Caitlin Bunch. All right, Aubrey Miller steps in, and a nice pitch start us off here from Booman, strike one. Outside, one ball and one strike. Fouled back, one ball and two strikes now for Aubrey Miller. One, two count here for Miller. That one misses high. Count goes to two balls, two strikes. This is outside, so full count here for Miller with Aubrey Wilson on deck for the Rochester Zebras. Jim Coleman in the third base coaching box. Scott had a shell out at first for the Zebras. And a swing and a miss for out number one as Miller goes down swinging. They'll bring up Aubrey Wilson with Braylon Hunter on deck. Nice change up there from Booman that uh, got uh, Miller a little out ahead of that one. Good eye there from the freshman Wilson. Takes that one for ball one. Hits that one right over to third base, bobbled and picked up in time for out number one. Hard hit ball, but uh, right at the third baseman, Bailey Carson for out number two. That'll bring up Braylon Hunter. If she can find a way to get on base, the pitcher, Bria Rensberger, is on deck for the Rochester Zebras.
Gooman misses inside on that one. Ball one. Little check swing foul there. One ball, one strike now for the freshman Braylon Hunter. Swing and a miss. That was a uh, nice drop there from Booman. Fell right out of the strike zone. One ball and two strikes now for Hunter. Up and outside. Count goes to two and two. Knuckle ball hit foul territory. It's going to drop. Count will stay two and two for Hunter with Bria Rensberger on deck. If Hunter can find a way on, keep this inning going here for the Zebras. Two down here in the bottom of the first. Over to Carson, a good backhand stab there at third from Carson for out number three. So that will do it for the Zebras. No runs, no hits, no errors through one here at Fanzler. Take a break, come back with the top of inning number two with Barnes, Carson, and Bunch coming up here for the Braves here on RTC TV4. All right, moving into the top of inning number two. No score here between the Rochester Zebras and the Maconaqua Braves. First baseman Sidney Barnes will lead us off here for the Braves as we start the inning here. That one misses high. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Nice pitch from Rensberger. Got that one tailing away. One and two. Yeah, one ball, two strikes. Barnes followed by Carson and Bunch. Here as we start inning at number two. Nice change there from Rensberger for the strikeout. And out number one. Second strikeout of the game for the pitcher, Bria Rensberger, will bring up Bailey Carson with Caitlin Bunch on deck. I don't know. Shot over to short. In time, good play there by Wilson, deep in the hole from short for out number two. That will bring up right fielder Caitlin Bunch with Ireland Kyle on deck. Two down here in the top of the second. Pitchers duel so far here. That one's going to be a little low. One ball for right fielder Caitlin Bunch. Swings through that one, one ball and one strike. Hurt. 
Got the outside corner on that one. One and two count. Shot, it's going to get through out into left. So on with a two-out base hit is Bunch. First base runner of the afternoon here for either team. That was a well-hit ball, and that will bring up left fielder Ireland Kyle with Murray on deck. Swing and a miss, strike one. Foul tipped. Rensberger ahead in the count here, 0 and 2. Two out, one on for the McConaughey Braves. At the plate, left fielder Ireland Kyle. Bunch moving on contact, of course, with two strikes there, but that one's fouled back to the fence, so we're going to do it again. Kyle getting the instructions there from Coach Duncan at third base. Rinsberger toes the rubber here for the Zebras. Bunch is going. Good throw. Oh, got under the tag. That was a really good throw. Just able to get in underneath that tag. So Bunch will move over to second on the steal. One and two count here for Ireland Kyle. Just misses on that one. Count goes to two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike out number three. Four out number three as the Braves do get one hit, but no runs on one hit and one left on base here in the top of the second. We'll come back. Rensberger, Field, and Heinzman Harding, I believe, for the Rochester Zebras when we come back here in the bottom of the second on RTC TV4. All right, moving into the bottom of the second here, leading off will be the pitcher, Bria Rensberger. Shot out in the left. And foul. Well hit ball there by Rensberger, just foul. This is inside, ball one. One ball, one strike here to Rensberger. Jaden Field is on deck. Got her on the change. One ball, two strikes here for the freshman. Right over to Carson. That hit the plate first. Yeah. Yeah. So dead ball there is that hit the uh, hit the plate first, I believe. 
So we're going to do the one-two again here for Rensberger. This is a low, ball two. Good eye there, Rensberger earns the full count here. Three balls, two strikes. Nice job of battling here. Good at bat by the freshman Rensberger. Fouls that one back, so she's going to get another opportunity. Keeps it alive. Three two count here for Rensberger. Three calls a time. Foul ball. <laughs> Got her on the outside corner for the strikeout. Second strikeout of the game, out number one here in the bottom of the second. We'll bring up the catcher, Jaden Field. Makaya Harding on deck. Popped up, but out behind Raider. Drops innocently for a strike. Oh, one count here. Field did not go on that one, so that's one ball, one strike. Drops that one in on the bottom corner of the strike zone. One and two count here for field. Shot over to short. In time, out number two. 6-3 put out for out number two. We'll bring up the designated player, Makai Harding. Miley Heinzman, second baseman on deck. Only one hit here so far through an inning and a half of play. That was Caitlin Bunch for the Maconaqua Braves getting on with the single but not able to get her around in the top of the second. 0-0 zero, zero here as we are in bottom of the third, or bottom of the second, sorry, yeah. Swing and a miss for Harding. One ball, two strikes. That one and one, I guess. I thought it was one and two. I just hit of myself there. Now it's one and two.
right, able to. So Harding is on with a hit by pitch, bringing up the second baseman, Miley Heinzman. Seabers have their first base runner of the afternoon. Heinzman follows that one back. Give me a how to shell on deck. No balls and one strike here for Heinzman. Ooh. They had her. Just not able to put the tag on out at first, but uh, good throw down that time from Raider. Barnes just not able to make the tag there at first, so no balls and two strikes here for Miley Heinzman. They're working it down there. They are already getting a little bit of a, a lead there, and she's getting lucky on those two plays there. Almost got uh, tagged back, but uh, one ball and two strikes here for Heinzman. Miley fouls that one back out of play. So update from Bob Copeland Field, top of the second. The Zebras and the McConaughey Braves battling over at Bob Copeland for baseball tonight as well. No score between Rochester and McConaughey. Heinzman pokes it and it's going to go foul. You're watching us on Channel 4. You want to catch the baseball action. That one is on the web. You can get that at rtc4.com or on our app. RTC4 Sports app available on Android, on Apple, or on Roku. Or you can get it on the IHSA Champions Network as well. They do have the Apple TV app for uh, IHSA Champions Network. So if you have Apple TV and you want to watch the game, you can still do that through IHSA Champions Network. Hines been able to keep alive here. A couple fouls. Two balls and two strikes with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Hines been able to uh, get the full count here as that one is low and inside for Booman. Payoff pitch. That's going to be fouled back out of play. So Hines been doing a nice job here as well. They're they're making Booman throw some pitches. Still not able to get one in fair territory yet are the Rochester Zebras, but they're definitely making Blakely Boomin work here in the circle so far through the first two innings. Kai Harding is at first. There's another one that's going to be in foul territory as well. So he reached base on a hit by pitch. First base runner of the evening for the Rochester Zebras. So 3-2 count here, two outs, one on for the Rochester Zebras. Miley Heinzman at the plate with Mia Hattishell on deck.
I think that one hit her too. Yeah. So two on now here for Mia How to Show. So Harding at second, Heinzman at first, brings up the junior Mia How to Show. Out of shell, good contact there. A little fumble at shore. Everybody's going to be safe. E6. And E6 there. So we've got two zebras on that got hit by pitches. We've got How to Shell who reached on an error. Bases loaded with two outs now for the center fielder Dara Strasser. And if Dara can somehow get on base here, that would be even better for the zebras as they would be moving back up to the top of the lineup. I think there was just a question there. The uh, umpires got together there, whether there was an interference in uh, the base path there at the shortstop position, and they say no, there wasn't. Good job there as they consulted each other and worked through it. So left-handed Dara Strasser up to bat, looking to bunt, and she pulls back. Is that going to be foul? So way out ahead of that one, that one lands in foul territory for strike one. So Harding at third, Heinzman at second. Both of those girls reached on hit by pitch. And Mia Hattashell, who reached on an error by the shortstop. One. I think that's just, that was the first pitch. You got two or one? That was the first pitch. That was the first pitch. One and one. Yep, one and one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Screwball away, that gets away. And one run will score. Heads up base running there by Harding, and she puts a run on the board. All the runners advance. Two and one is the count here for Dara Strasser. Runners at second and third now. Follows that one back to the fence. Yeah, I might have been a little out of the zone there, yep. So now Dare is going to have to fight him off here with two strikes. Two outs. Let's see if uh, the junior. That one hits off of her bat. She was ducking down to uh, avoid being hit by that, and it hit her bat as it was on her shoulder. So that's actually a foul ball. The shot mishandled at first, but able to uh, recover and get the out is Barnes. The Zebras get one run on no hits, leave two on base. One error by McConaughey in the bottom of the second. After two, it's Rochester one, McConaughey zero here on RTC TV4. All right, back here as we move into the top of the third with the shortstop, Casey Murray leading off. Clifton will be the second batter, followed by the leadoff hitter, Brazil, as the Zebras take a 1-0 lead here after two. 
Still don't have any hits, but they got two on by hit by pitch. They got uh, uh, Mia Howdeshell got on with a uh, error at short, and uh, they scored a run as Harding was able to come home on a wild pitch by Blake Lee Booman. Nice pitch there, gets her swinging. One ball, one strike. That was kind of a rise ball that tailed away at the same time. That was an interesting pitch there from Rensberger. Mm -hmm. Same pitch, yeah, just a little bit farther out, and good job that time there for Murray holding off on that one. So two balls, one strike here for the shortstop. Second baseman Anna Clifton on deck here for McConaughey. Back to the fence. 2 2. Two two count here for Murray. Rensberger. Nice pitch. Gets her swinging out number one. Strikeout number four for Rensberger. I'll bring up the second baseman, Anna Clifton. Baseball just in the uh, top of the third. No runs for either squad yet. 0-0 zero, zero in the top of the third over at Bob Copeland Field for Rochester and McConaughey. That one just a bit outside for Rensberger. Center fielder, leadoff hitter Sheila Brazil is on deck for the Braves. Strike one. There's that, uh, would you call that a slider? Yeah, like a change that tails away. It's a nasty pitch there from Rensburg. Whatever you want to call it, it's nasty. Popped up, out of shell coming in and gets the catch in fair territory for out number two. That'll bring up center fielder Sheila Brazil with Boomin on deck. Grounded out to Heinzman at second, her first at bat to lead off the game. Popped up into shallow outfield, I guess it was on the green, and uh, Heinzman comes over and makes the catch. Out number three for the Braves. After two and a half, no or one run for the Zebras, no runs for the Braves. Top of the third, no runs, no hits, no errors by the Rochester Zebras. Nobody left on base, and we'll be back here bottom of the third in just a moment on RTC TV4. All right, it's going to be back to the top of the order here for the Zebras as we move into the bottom of the third. Miller, Wilson, and Hunter, your first three here for Rochester. Shows bunt, fouls that one back. So no balls and one strike here. Miller struck out her first time up, leading off the game in the bottom of the first for the Zebras. Rochester leads 1-0 here after two and a half innings. Had the bases loaded in the bottom of the second, but did not have a hit. Actually get a run across on a wild pitch. And there's a uh, big rip there for Miller for strike two. Booman not overpowering with her speed, but she uh, definitely has a lot of movement on her pitches and is able to uh, to work the rise and the 
different pitches to her advantage. This is on that one outside. One ball, two strikes. Conaqua gets on the board over at Bob Copeland Field, leads one to zero in the top of the third. Over the Rochester Zebras in baseball action going on now as we speak on RTC4.com. 2-2 two -two count here for Aubrey Miller. Gets her on that one, strikeout for Booman. Strikeout number three for the junior, Blakely Booman. That will bring up shortstop Aubrey Wilson with Braylon Hunter on deck. Aubrey grounded out to third, her first at bat. Booman gets the outside corner for strike one. One down here in the bottom of the third. Back up the middle and on with a base hit is the freshman, Aubrey Wilson. Wilson reaches with a single up the middle, bringing up left middle so the Zebras get their first hit of the afternoon, bringing up the left fielder, Braylon Hunter. She grounded out to the third baseman in uh, her first at bat back in the first as well. Let's see if she can get on here for the Zebras. One down, one on for Hunter with the pitcher Rensberger on deck. Misses on that one for ball one. Fouls that one back on the bunt attempt. One ball, one strike. Little knuckler, that's going to be caught by the shortstop. Wilson back over to first. So two down for Bria Rensberger. Jaden Field on deck. That went in for a strike. Wilson in at second. Obbs with the steal. No balls and one strike here for Rensberger. Way out in front of that one was Rensberger. It goes out in foul territory off the left field line. So no balls and two strikes here for the freshman pitcher, Bria Rensberger. See if she can stay alive here. Did a nice job working that back in the second. Got a timeout. Booman looks at her pitch card on her arm. And strike out number four for Booman ends the inning as the Zebras go down. They get no runs on one hit, one left on base, no errors in the bottom of the third after three. Zebras lead 1-0 here at Fansler Field. We'll be back here at the top of the fourth in just a moment. <laughs> 
Welcome back here, Fansler Field. After three, it is Rochester one, Maconaqua zero. It'll be Booman, Raider, and Barnes up two, three, and four as we start the fourth here for the Maconaqua Braves. A reminder that the concession stand popcorn is rolling tonight. Just about to throw it back. Booman struck out. Her first at bat in the first inning. Next up, Good pitch there from Rensberger, strike one. This is on the inside for ball one. One ball and one strike. Gets that one in there, strike two. Just misses on the inside corner. Two balls and two strikes here to Blakely Booman, the McConaughey pitcher. Got her swinging out number one. Strikeout number five for Rensberger brings up the catcher Amaya Raider. First baseman, Sidney Barnes on deck. Raider popped. Popped out to first, I believe. I didn't write down the number, but it was the first, right? That was the one that hit to Mia, wasn't it, in the first? This is just a bit outside, 2-0 count here for Raider. Raider way out in front here. Probably, uh, I'm guessing, will be taking on 3-0, but we'll see if uh, Coach Duncan gives her the green light. And she does take, and that's a walk. First walk issued by Rensberger. So Raider is on for first baseman Sidney Barnes. Bailey Carson is on deck. Barnes struck out to lead off the second inning for the Braves. Little bunt, and it hits the line and then tra trickles over in foul territory. Looked like that thing was going to die right on the line, but uh, it had enough spin on it that it did trickle foul. No balls and one strike. Bottom of the third with two outs and two on for the Rochester Zebras, trailing one to zero over McConaughey over at Bob Copeland Field in baseball conference action. Ooh, a double steal. Now runners at second and third with a full count. One count here to Sydney Barnes. Raider is on first. She reached on a walk. First walk issued by Rensberger here through the 
first three and a half innings. Oh, that one's hit hard out in the center. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Both runners are going to be up and move over one Raider and in at first. With a single is Barnes. So, runners at first and second here for McConaughey with Bailey Carson on the coming up to the plate here with one out and Caitlin Bunch is on deck. So Carson grounded out to short back in the second. Let's see what the Zebras can do here. They're in a little bit of a pickle here with runners at first and second. Well hit ball there by Barnes after the walk issued to Raider. Fouls that one back. So Rensberger ahead in the count. No, is that one and one? One and one? Okay. Yep, one and one. Just misses, so three and one here for Carson. Caitlin Bunch, who is one for one on the afternoon, is on deck for the Braves. And Rensberger gets that one in there for strike two, full count now. Swing and a miss. Strike out for out number two. Sixth strikeout of the game for Rensberger. So Bunch at the plate. The right fielder is one for one. Had a single back in the second. Takes that one for strike one. Rensberger able to pitch around this. That would be uh, pretty good. <laughs> Runners at first and second with one out, and you're able to get uh, get out of the inning. That, uh, that was going to look really good if she can do it. Right back over to Rensberger. Over to first, and she does it. Out number three. The one three put out ends the inning. So no runs on one hit, no errors, two left on base here in the Top of the fourth for McConaughey after three and a half. Rochester leads the Braves one to zero here on RTC TV4. Welcome back here as we move into the bottom of the fourth. Boy, a great job there by the Rochester Zebras and Bria Rensberger in particular with uh, two runners on and one out. Gets the strikeout to Carson and gets the bunch to uh, ground back to her for out number three and able to avoid some trouble there in the top of the fourth. So as we move into the bottom of the fourth here, it's going to be Jaden Field leading off with Harding and Heinzman, your first three batters here for the Rochester Zebras. Good pitch in there. I think the more I'm watching Booman, it's not only the placement of the ball, it's not only the movement of the ball, but it's the changing of speeds. She's, she's got nasty stuff when it comes to changing speeds, and it's just throwing the Rochester hitters off there. They're way ahead of a lot of pitches when she throws her uh, change up, and she really does a nice job of disguising that uh, arm motion. So, a one count here to Jaden Field, who grounded out to short back in the second, and her only plate appearance of the afternoon. McConaughey well, able to uh, battle through uh, a little adversity there. The Zebras leave two on in the bottom of the third as they move into the top of the fourth over at Bob Copeland Field. Actually, the middle of the fourth now, 1-0. McConaughey leads the Rochester Zebras. 
field with uh, O2 count here. Foul tip. Okay. So strike out on field he is out number one. I'll bring up the designated player, Micaiah Harding, with Miley Heinzman on deck. First pitch is a strike. So we're going to miss there by Harding. Say she's going around on that one. Strike two. Harding going to have to fight it off here. Stay alive. No balls and two strikes here. Got her on the chain. Strike three. Strike out number two here in the fourth for Booman. One, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts now for Blakely Booman. That will bring up Heinzman. Reached on a hit by pitch back in the second. Comes to the plate with two outs here in the fourth. You had a shell on deck. Check down the first, no offer, so one ball, no strikes. Shot, and that's going to get through into left field. So on with a single is Heinzman. That will bring up the junior, Mia Hattishel. Had a shell reached on an error back in the second. Comes to the plate with two outs and one on here in the bottom of the fourth. Dara Strasser on deck for the Zebras. That one in for strike one. Nice pitch there from Booman. Two count here for how to shell, so we have to fight, fight to stay alive here for the zebras here in the bottom of the fourth. That one's low. Heinzman will advance over to second. One ball, two strikes here for how to shell. Another one in the dirt. Good job there by Raider keeping that one in front of her. Evens the count at two balls and two strikes. Sharply hit over to third and that's gonna be in time for out number three. The Zebras get no runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base here in the bottom of the fourth. We'll be right back here on RTC TV4. Welcome back here as we move into the fifth inning for the McConaughey Braves. It'll be Kyle Murray and Clifton, seven, eight, nine hitters here to lead off the top of the fifth. Zebras lead 1 0 after four here at Fansler. Kyle struck out in her only plate appearance back in the second inning to end the inning. 
And that one in for strike one from Rensberger. Rensberger and Bowman been doing it in the circle for both of their squads here so far this evening. They've really been getting it done. Each uh, pitcher has six strikeouts on the evening so far here through four innings. Yeah, some good defense. One McConaqua error and a wild pitch back in the uh, second inning led to the one run being scored and Strasser and gets underneath that one for out number one. Uh, That'll bring up the shortstop, Casey Murray. Murray struck out to lead off the third for the Braves. Anna Clifton is on deck. If she gets on, somebody gets on, we'll go back to the top of the lineup to Brazil. But Rensberger not in time as the uh, second baseman Heinzman comes over to uh, cover first, but uh, that one's going to be infield hit there for Murray. That'll bring up Clifton with Brazil on deck. McConaughey able to uh, manufacture a base runner there with the bunt. That one's going to be fouled back out of play. Strike one. Clifton 0 for 1 on the afternoon. Popped to uh, first base. For the second out of the third inning. Rounder to Medina, throw to second is wild. So runners now at the corners. Fielder's choice, E5, throwing error, or, yeah. Brazil will be up here with one out. Runners at first and third for the Braves with the pitcher Booman on deck. Brazil 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Runners going. That one's cut off. Over to third, back in time. So Zebras knew what they were doing there. They weren't really going to challenge that steal of second. But they were trying to see if they could get uh, entice the runner Murray at third, maybe to uh, do something that she maybe shouldn't. But uh, she is back in time. So runners at second and third, one out. And 2-0 count here to Brazil. Boomin on deck. Raider will follow her up. Three zero. Will Coach Duncan give her the green light, or will he uh, have her taking here and see what happens? Taking on that count. Three balls and one strike here for Brazil. That one's popped up in foul territory and running out of room is how to shell. Good pursuit there by Mia, just ran out of room and couldn't get through that uh, chain link fence, so. 
Back to 3-2 uh, here after getting ahead in the count 3-0 Brazil. If uh, Rensberger can uh, find a way to get this out here, this is going to be huge. Just low. So that walk will leave the bases loaded with one out with the pitcher Blakely Booman coming up to bat with Raider on deck. And one down here in the top of the fifth. Coach Coleman out here rallying the troops, the infield in at the circle. Discussing the plan here on the attack. As they find themselves in a little bit of a jam, bases loaded with only one out. That one's hit sharply out into right field. Coming in, making the catch, throw at home. Good throw, out number two. Wow, what a play out in right field. The catch was made, and Miller guns down the runner for out number three. Zebras get out of the inning. Wow, what a play there by Miller. We're going to take a break, take a uh, moment to catch our breath and figure out the stats here. We'll be back here in a moment on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here. We move into the bottom of the fifth, and boy, that was the uh, that was probably the play. I don't know. We'll see the play of the game or not. But uh, Booman pops up into deep right field to Miller. Miller throws a strike into the catcher and tags uh, Murray out for a double play to end the top of the fifth. Bases were loaded with one down, and uh, the Zebra's able to get out of there with. Uh, not allowing any runs to come across. So they still lead 1-0 here after four and a half. Strasser with a nice bunt. You're not going to catch her. She's got some wheels. So Strasser is on with a leadoff bunt single. So that will bring up Miller with Wilson on deck here for Rochester. Miller just made a great play out in right field to uh, end that uh, fifth top of the fifth. Bunts that one out of play, foul, strike one. Strasser's in. I don't know if she's the fastest girl on the team, but she's probably right up there. I don't know who would, who's faster than Dara Strasser on this Rochester Zebras team, but I know that girl has got some wheels. That one's bunted foul, strike two. One ball, two strikes here for Miller. Aubrey Wilson on deck with Hunter in the hole. This is outside Strasser and she's in the ball's loose. Strasser's gonna take home. Zebra score run number two.
And Miller goes down on the strikeout. That will bring up Wilson and follow that with Hunter here with one out. So we have a little conference here on the uh, in the circle for the Conequa Braves here as they they've done a great job here. Both of the runs have. Uh, I believe it would be unearned runs, but uh, they do have uh, a two nothing deficit. The Zebras lead two nothing here in the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth over at Bob Copeland Field, McConaughey holding on to a 1-0 advantage over the Rochester Zebras in uh, conference baseball action. Both baseball and softball coming into tonight's action with a two and two record, so. They're not completely out of the hunt, but I think three losses will uh, take you out of the conference race for sure. Even with two losses, you got to do a lot of work. There is a grounder over to third and making the stretch for the out at first base is Barnes. So out number two on the ground out by Wilson will bring up Hunter with Rensberger on deck if uh, Hunter can get on here in the bottom of the fifth. Swing and a miss. That gets away from Raider, but uh, that is strike one. Down low. Ball one. One ball and one strike here for Braylon Hunter. Grounded out to third in the first and popped out to short in the third. So 0 for 2 on the day is Hunter. That one is low for ball two. Back to Booman. Toss over to first for out number three. But the Zebras get one run here in the bottom of the fifth on one hit, one error by McConaqua, and nobody left on base. After five here at Fansler, it is Rochester two, Conaqua zero. We'll be back here in just a moment. RTC TV4. All right, moving into the sixth here with the Rochester Zebras leading 2-0. It's going to be 3-4-5. Raider, Barnes, and Carson for McConaughey facing Bria Rensberger here in the sixth. Raider popped out to... She is 0 for 1 with a walk on the afternoon. Takes that one for strike one. Gets that one in there, strike two. Good pitch from Rensberger. She's finding that outside corner on those rise balls just right at that top corner of the strike zone. Six Ks on the afternoon for Bria Rensberger so far. Just misses on that one. There's a shot out into shallow left. Wilson coming out. Did she... Nope, dropped it. And in at second with a double is Raider.
think she was just in the wrong spot. So Raider gets on here. She is on at second with Barnes and Carson going to follow her. Wilson tried to make a play on that. I'm not going to call that an error. I think she was uh, – she would have made a really outstanding play on that if she would have been able to range over there and get that from her shortstop position. So I'm going to go with probably what Val would say and – not a professional league. I don't think that was an error. Catches the outside corner there for strike one. Zebras have scored one in the bottom of the fifth over at Bob Copeland Field. It's tied 1-1. One, one. Still one, only one out for Rochester, and they got runners on second and third. So possibly uh, some more to come here. And now it gets under the mitt of Wilson. And in with a single is Barnes, so back-to-back -back hits and runners at the corners here for the Braves with nobody out in the top of the sixth. For the third baseman, senior Bailey Carson with Kalen Bunch on deck. Play on that one as Barnes steals second. Did this last inning, the uh, Zebras had, or McConaughey had the bases loaded with only one out. Don't want to do that again here. The uh, grounder. And the run does score. Carson. Did she trip over the bat? Okay. So Carson is out at first. So one run is in with Barnes moving over to third for Bunch, who comes up with one out here in the top of the sixth. Zebra's still holding on to a 2-1 advantage. Got Bunch with Kyle coming up behind her. Nice pitch there from Rensberger, swing and a miss there for Caitlin Bunch. Swing and a miss. Rensberger way out in front here. 0 oh, and 2 count for Bunch. Runner on third. One out here in the top of the six for Caitlin Bunch. Just misses there for ball one. Duncan uh, wants to talk something over here with Caitlin Bunch. Must not have been quite on the same page with what he was wanting her to do here on a uh, big one-two count pitch here for both sides. Can they double him up? No, can't get it back, but a great play there at first as Hottishell makes the catch. Almost gets uh, Barnes back, but they can't make the tag there. Medina just can't quite get the tag, but uh, there's two out, so that's a big, big play there as Bunch drills a liner over to Hottishell at first for out number two. Nine. 
So Ireland Kyle, 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Takes that one for strike one. I think Coach Coleman would take this if they can get out of this inning. That's a nice change there from Rensberger. Got Kyle way ahead of that one for strike two. So Rensberger has a lot of options here with an 0-2 count. Doesn't have to give her anything juicy over the plate. Can try and tempt her with something on the outside corner. She's been doing a nice job with that rise. There's a little popper back to Rensberger. Catches it for out number three to end the inning. The Braves do get one with two hits. One run, two hits with one left on base. No errors by the Zebras in the inning. After five and a half, it is Rochester 2, McConaughey 1. We'll be back here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Come back here to Fansler Field moving into the bottom of the six. The Zebras did give up one run to the Braves in the top of the six, but they still lead 2-1. to one. The Rensberger Field and Harding up to bat here for Rochester. I'd say that was uh, probably the best of... Uh, the scenarios that you would think of after giving up two hits to lead off the inning for the Rochester Zebras to McConaughey there in the top of the sixth. Able to uh, limit that to just one run scored. Bunch lined out to Mia Hattishell and then they got Ireland Kyle to pop back up to Rensberger for out number three. Rensberger shows bunt, pulls back and swings and a miss there for strike one. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts is Bria Rensberger here from the uh, plate so far this evening. See if she can get the bat going here and get the Zebras started off. Sharply hit ball, but in foul territory there for strike number 2. On RTC 4 over at Bob Copeland Field as they move into the top of the 6th, it is uh, McConaughey and Rochester tied at 1. Over there in TRC Conference baseball action. Baseball and softball coming into tonight's contest with two and two conference records. So they need to win out and get some help if they're going to have a shot at any kind of uh, conference action here this season for either team. Two two count here for Rensberger. Braves have uh, scored two here in the top of the six. Take a three one lead over the Zebras in baseball action over at Bob Copeland. Swing and a miss. Strikeout for Rensberger to start off the sixth here for Rochester. Eight strikeouts on the afternoon here for Booman. That will bring up Jaden Field. She's 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout here this afternoon. Well hit ball, but it's right at the second baseman. Clifton makes the catch for out number 2. Field lines out with the I'm going to bring up Micaiah Harding. She was hit by a pitch and scored in the second, struck out in the fourth. It's by Raider, ball one for Harding. Harding can get on. Miley Heinzman would be the next batter for the Zebras. Harding swings at the off-speed pitch there from Booman. Strike two. Er, sorry, one and one. That's strike one.
That's going to drop in left field for a hit. So Harding is on with a two-out single. Bringing up Miley Heinzman. Heinzman was also hit by a pitch in the second inning and had a single back in the fourth. Did not score either time. Big opportunity here with two down. Harding on first. Raider kind of juggled the ball a little bit there, and I think she would have had her if she would have had that clean transfer, but Harding is able to get in with the steal. So the Zebra's trying to make something happen here in the bottom of the sixth, trying to get some insurance runs here, leading two to one. Conquilla down to their last three outs, but they're only trailing by one at this point. That ball gets away. Harding's going to advance, so... One base closer to get another run on the board are the Zebras here with two outs and a 2-0 count here to Heinzman. Mia Hattishell in the on-deck circle here for the Zebras. And caught out there in right field by Bunch for out number three. So that'll do it here for the top bottom of the sixth. No runs on one hit. No errors, one left on base here for the Rochester Zebras. So we move into the top of the seventh. It is Rochester two, McConaughey one here on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back here as we move into the seventh inning. The Braves trailing two to one. So they're gonna have to get a run here if they wanna keep this one going. For the Zebras, they want to try and get this one done here in the top of the seventh. So it's going to be 8-9-1 here. Murray, Clifton, and Brazil coming up for McConaughey here in the top of the seventh. Murray, uh, one for two. She got doubled up to end the fifth inning on that great play from Miller out in right field on the catch of the pop fly by Booman. Follows that one back for strike one. Miley, or Michaela Harding, Makaya Harding, sorry. Michaela Harding, that's going back to my Culver days. That's been a while, but uh, Makaya Harding got on there in the bottom of the six, got around to third, but uh, Heinzman pops out to the right fielder to end the inning. And here we are in the seventh with the Zebras leading two to one, trying to Get their third conference win if they can get this one done. And that one's not going to be in time. So an infield bunt single for Murray to start things off here for the Braves. That'll bring up Anna Clifton. Popped out to How to Shell and then reached on an error in the fifth. Harding, nice job of fielding it, but couldn't uh, quite make the decision there and the runners advance, both runners are safe. So again, the runners at first and second with no outs here as we go back to the top of the lineup here for Brazil. 0 for 2, she did reach on a walk in the fifth for the leadoff hitter, Sheila Brazil. Big moment here, she comes to the play with nobody out and runners at first and second for the Braves. That one's popped up. Miller comes in, makes the catch. Runners will stay out number one. So that's a big out. You get out number one before you get out number two. So Booman comes back to the uh, plate. Similar situation to where she was in the fifth inning when she popped out to Miller and uh, Murray got doubled up to end the inning. So Booman is 0 for 3 here on the afternoon. And a good pitch from Rensberger 
for strike one. Raider on deck. She uh, had a double and scored back in the sixth for the only run of the afternoon for the Braves. So they need to get booming out here. That one catches the corner. Good pitch from Rensberger. One ball and two strikes here to the mechanical pitcher, Blakely Booman. This is a monstrous pitch. Just misses low on that one. Still 2-2 here, so you still have some room to work with. If you're Bria Rensberger, you don't want to get too fancy, but you want to give her something that's going to tempt her out of the strike zone here with a 2-2 count. Got her swinging. Strike out. Strike out number seven on the afternoon for the freshman, Bria Rensberger, and that was a big one. Raider had a uh, double and scored back in the last inning, so this is another big one here. Big lead by both runners. As that ball got away from Jaden Field, but uh, not far enough that they were tempted to run here. So again, the Braves got two on with nobody out, and. Brazil flied out to right, and Booman struck out. There's a big swing and a miss on that one for Raider. One ball, one strike. So now all of a sudden the pressure has moved from Rochester's side to McConaughey's side as they're down to their last two strikes. Shot. And that one's going to go in, and the runner's going to score. Harding, uh, all she had to do was tag third base there, and she throws it over to first and not able to corral that. And McConaughey being ultra aggressive there on that one is Murray able to scoot in and score and tie us at two. So now runners at second and third. We are tied up here with two outs. Runners at second and third for Sydney Barnes. Little knuckler over to Wilson and over to third in time for out number three. But the damage is done. The run is in. And that's going to make us go to the bottom of the seventh as the Braves get one run on two hits with two left on base in the top of the seventh after six and a half. It is Rochester two, McConaughey two here at Fancer. We'll be right back. All right, going into the bottom of the seventh, the Braves get one in the top of the seventh and tie it at two here. So Rochester with an opportunity here to walk it off. If they can get a uh, run across, it's going to be Hadeshell, Strasser, and Miller, your first three batters here for the Zebras as we are in the bottom of the seventh. That one is low for Mia. One ball, one strike. Hey. 
Nice pitch from Booman in for strike two. This is high and outside. Two balls, two strikes. There's Strasser on deck. Be able to fight that one off. Stays alive. Foul balls. Two balls, two strikes. Got a shell, a bit of fight. Another one off there. Stays alive. 2-2 two -two count here. Nobody out. Bottom of the seventh. Tied at two. Looks over, gets a new pitch from the dugout. That one misses outside. So full count here for How to Shell. Fellow junior classmate Dara Strasser on deck for the Zebras. And a walk issued. So the leadoff man is aboard. That is big here for How to Shell. So that'll bring up Strasser here. With nobody out and one on here. And we're going to have a uh, timeout. They're going to come out and talk to the infield. I highly doubt we're going to see a pitching change. I don't know that uh, they're going to go away from Blakely Booman at this point. Coach Coleman talking to uh, his batters over off of the third base line as this is a uh, big moment here for both teams tied at two in the bottom of the seventh. Great at bat there by Mia Hattashell, able to come back and uh, draw the walk after being down, was it 1-2 or was it just 2-2? Two -two? She was... She was in a little bit of a hole there and was able to fight off a couple pitches, foul them off, stay alive, and, and draw a walk. That's uh, big there from the junior. Let's see if uh, Dara can uh, keep it going here. And we'll be back to the uh, top of the lineup here for Aubrey Miller, who is on deck for the Zebras. Strasser offers on the bunt, the throw back to first, and how to shell back in in time. No balls and one strike here for Dara. That one misses outside, one ball, one strike. That one outside, two balls and one strike here for Strasser. Strasser offers up on the bunt and misses. So 2-2, two -two, so going to have to battle away here.
Swing and a miss. Strikeout. So Strasser goes down to swing for out number one. That will bring it back up to the top to Aubrey Miller. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts on the afternoon. Be a good time for a uh, base hit for Aubs. There's a bunt. Oh, just trickles. Foul. And Bailey Carson was charging that one, and it looked like she was going to touch it there, and she saw it spinning away. And Smart play there by the uh, third baseman to let that one trickle foul. So that's strike one for Miller. That one misses outside. How to shell. She's down and the ball goes out in the center field. So how to shell moves over to second. So the winning run is in scoring position. Come on, 14. Come on. Aubrey Wilson is on deck for the Zebras. Oh, it hits her. She's out, isn't she? Yeah. It hit the back of Miller's foot in fair territory. So Miller is out. So it's all up to Obbs Wilson here, the freshman. Two outs, runner at second. Can we keep this one uh, going here in the bottom of the seventh or will we move into extra innings here at Fanzler? Takes that one low, ball one. Boomin taking a while there in the circle. Miller calls for, uh, Wilson calls for a time. There's a shot out into right field. It's going to drop. Wilson does it. The drop with the double and the score. And the Zebras have done it. They win the game on a walk-off double by Aubrey Wilson. Zebras win 3-2, bottom of the seventh, walk off by the freshman. What a play, what a hit, what a game. Booman and Rensberger battled it out in the circle, and it was an outstanding, outstanding effort. Two innings of JV, we'll get right after it. So Maconaqua will drop their overall record to four and seven. Their conference mark will drop to two and two. For the Zebras, they will move to seven and nine. And the big one, they're three and two now in conference play. So we're going to take a quick break here. They are going to do what, two innings, Mr. Reaney? Two innings of a JV game, so we'll reset things. We'll uh, we won't do any commentary so for the most part, but uh, we'll uh, take a quick commercial break. Why don't you go to an ad pack there, and uh, we'll be right back here. The Zebras win it in seven here, three to two over Maconaqua. We'll be back here in just a moment. RTC TV four. All right, welcome back here to Fansler Field. We've got a couple innings of uh, JV action coming your way here on uh, RTC TV4. The uh, varsity game ended with a Aubrey Wilson walk-off double, and the Rochester Zebras win 3-2 to two here in conference action. 
I believe they just went to commercial, but I think the uh, baseball team ended with the same score. Three to, three to two, I believe, was the final over there. It looked like they just went to commercial, but I had that on there. So we're going to do a couple innings here. We'll kind of talk a little bit about this uh, varsity contest while we're going here. Great uh, effort in the circle by both pitchers. Blakely Booman, the junior from Maconaqua. Booman had nine Ks for McConaughey, and on the other side, uh, Bria Rensberger, another great effort on the uh, in the circle for the freshman. I have her for seven strikeouts on the afternoon, so 16 strikeouts between the two pitchers here on this one, and. A great result. Uh, you know, a couple opportunities there for McConaqua. The uh, defense of the Rochester Zebras came up big. McConaqua did uh, kind of manufacture a run. They had uh, two hits to start the top of the seventh before uh, Brazil popped out to right field and Booman struck out. But then uh, uh, Raider uh, was able to. Uh, reach and on an error and Murray came around to score so they manufactured a run there in the uh, seventh and forced the uh, bottom of the seventh uh, Mia Hadeshell got on in the bottom of the seventh for the Zebras on a walk to lead off the uh, the inning Strasser strikes out Miller uh, nice bunt but it hits her in the back of the heel in fair territory so she was out and that left it up to Aubrey Wilson and she drills one out in the right center.
Yeah. Just sir, I was videotaping the game and she died. Yeah. So, thank you.
it happen, Audrey. Make it happen. I just want to bat.